Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures, and today I realized I needed to get into the bottom of this cabinet to pull out a happy birthday display, and I thought it would be the perfect time to share what I have in this cabinet, so a follow-up to my other corner cabinet. On the outside of the cabinet, I always like to hang something on the knob. It's just like a built-in display area and you can change it out for the seasons and holidays. So for spring, I like to put my birds on a shell. So this cabinet has lots more color and that's because these items were in a different hutch that I used to have in here. I sold that about a year ago and everything moved in here and I've kept it in here because I really like the color. So first we'll start down on the uh, bottom shelf. I have these uh, dishes and teacups. They are made in England and I found some of them at Savers and then the rest at the hospital sale. And I love that cottagey floral pattern. It's a dusty red pink color. And I have about five pieces or five settings, except for the bowls, I've only ever found two. And we like to use these in the summer when it's a quiet afternoon and I say, oh, let's have some tea and we'll make some tea and then have some fruit or scones or something. And it's just the perfect little set. Teapot here, and this is very nice because it has the built-in strainer and I found that at uh, my church. Also mixed in here are uh, a few Emma Bridgewater pieces. I found those at Savers and I always loved this pattern because of my friend. And it just says like English breakfast and uh, tea, coffee, just the words. And I have a mug as well. This teacup was also found at church this past year. I love ceramic oranges. I love orange blossom. I like to stack dishes and I like florals. There are no markings on it, but I love that color. It's a green blue. I also have my collection of cranberry glass in here, just picked up here and there. Uh, maybe this is called coin dot. I don't know because it has those opalescent dots on it. And then because I've got so much stuff in here, we just have to stack and pile. So I've got a little set of salt and pepper shakers in here. In the back, I have this piece and uh, my friend is the one who taught me about Heise glass. And this is marked with the diamond. I believe I paid about $14 for this at an antique store. And it has engravings on it that are just beautiful guessing it's a candy dish with the lid. And in it, I have a lot of my mother of pearl handled pieces. This one here, uh, well actually that piece has a monogram and the piece in the front here has a very delicate monogram. Onto the next shelf, I have some more salt and pepper shakers and I love the shakers that have holes that are little stars. And one of these pairs, I believe it's this pair, was the pair that started off this little collection. I found them at a yard sale. Um, the lady lived close and all summer long she had sales. Her things were excellent prices. A lot of the things belonged to her grandmother and she was moving to Hawaii, so she really had to sell it all. These were picked up at an estate sale on the last day little salts, frosted pink, and there's a set of four. I'm just using one as a little riser. And then in that, I put a mother of pearl spoon. This was found for a dollar at a local flea market at a church. The lady said she used to put roses in it and I'm just a sucker for clear glass with engravings and carvings. And up here, I use that to display some more of my mother of pearl handled pieces. We've got a Candlewick cake plate holding this amazing planter. This was from church as well. And I've seen a photograph and I will insert a picture of some soup terrines. Now, I don't think this is, it's not a terrine, but it's kind of got a similar shape. Red transfer wear stacked up. Oh my goodness, they are gorgeous. And that would be fun to do something like that in here. 
I also have some more pearl pieces that I picked up thrifting and then just some real de delicate linen napkins that have some monograms and these are pretty delicate so that's why they're in here more for display than use. Some more salt and pepper shakers and then these I got from Picasso Cat Kathy on YouTube. I've always wanted a set of these. I believe my grandmother had some and uh, they were just adorable. So she was selling them. They are in pristine condition and I like them in here with my other teacups and just the sweetness of them. Here are some, I think it's the like fork and knife set. They're both Tiffany, Tiffany and Company. Um, I found one set at the uh, I think trinkets and treasures sale half price day wasn't too bad maybe about twelve dollars or so it was this set and they're monogrammed I just could not believe that they were there and they were that price and then when COVID happened everybody was just doing free stuff on their yard and I'm driving down the street and eagle-eyed me spied these free on the side of the road Yep, they're Tiffany as well. Next shelf. This little piece is from the Goodwill. Probably paid 99 cents for it. Um, I can't think of the name off the top of my head. I'm thinking Cambridge or something like that. It has the, the sweet little flowers engraved in it. In it, I'm just uh, holding some more of my utensils. I think this may be my newest one. And then my mom picked this up for me at the thrift store because I love that cranberry glass, which I learned it turns that color because gold is in it. Little hearts. This was found this summer and I really like the color. It's so similar. These dishes are from Crate and Barrel and they're those classic cabbage dishes. Uh, you can see they're made in Portugal, so it's probably the same mold and the same maker. What is it like? Bordello Pinero. Some Swarovski crystal candlesticks. Found those last June. And then here is a creamer and sugar set that matches this. That was a church rummage sale. And behind it, these were an eBay find. Um, see how they're clear on the bottom? And I think they're old. I do think that they're the Victorian times. Perfect condition. And if I'm wrong, let me know. But that's how they were listed online. And on the last shelf, I have these two shakers. Uh, I believe they're called muffineers. This was my husband's grandmother's. And I think I've told the story before, but I'll tell it again. Um, <laughs> every time I would go to her house, and use the bathroom, it was in the top shelf of the closet and I would pull it out every single time and put it on a sideboard and uh, they find it and put it back in the closet. And then finally I got it as a present. <laughs> I said, it's just too pretty to be up in a closet. In the back, that's funny, that's part of the lamp that I use in the guest bedroom and it's got those beautiful hand painted roses. So I put that in here a little teacup from church, and it actually is monogrammed with the C, which is my first initial. These were found at the hospital sale. Um, I need to get that price tag residue off. And I, I just love them. I don't know if they would have had a lid and been a vanity jar. They're kind of large to be salt cellars. So I think that's what they would have been. In the back is another glass and etched, uh, last piece. It is a syrup dispenser, which I have used when we threw my friend a bridal shower last year. And I got that idea to put things in it at an uh, antique store, my favorite booth. And the uh, utensils in there are brass and green and from France. And I got them in that booth, but the, uh, the syrup dispenser was not for sale. And uh, then I found one online and with shipping, it was like $15, it was really close and it has a sterling lid. So I definitely got a deal on that. And last is this $2 teapot that has this awesome metal cozy. Uh, I use it and I have a copper one in the kitchen. So I, I hope you enjoyed hearing the little stories or you know how much I paid for something or when I found it. 
It's kind of funny that I can remember that stuff. And a little sneak peek in the bottom of the cabinet. Um, it is not painted because this was Annie Sloan chalk paint, which is expensive. And I ran out and I was like, okay, I'm going to paint everything that you can see. And the inside never happened. Um, just a little collection of things, things for Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, I think that's all Valentine's. This I'll pull out in a little bit because um, I think the colors are beautiful for spring and summer. And this is the birthday stuff I want to get into. And some flower frogs. I have greatly reduced my collection. Um, yep, when I got rid of the hutch, I had to find a spot for things and some things had to go. And hopefully whoever got them was very happy to get them. So here is the assemblage that I made for my daughter a long time ago and I always pulled it out for her birthday. And maybe that'll be another video. Um, I'm, I know I've shared it before, but I'll share it again, especially if you're new. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in another video. Bye.